Just said. Wait. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Good morning and welcome back to Live in the Classroom. We're back at Clear Creek High School. Earlier we were at the dentistry program and now we're in uh, the choir room here with director Matthew Taylor. And we're gonna talk a little bit about what you guys are practicing, what you're going through. Um, so what does this semester look like for you so far? This semester has been a whole lot of really, really fun things. So yeah. we started out with a pop music set and that pop music set we performed at Homecoming. It, it uh, encompassed songs like The Luckiest by Ben Folds, a really awesome arrangement from uh, from the Da Sound Machine finale in, um, oh, what was that What was that, that, that called? What was that, that movie? Perfect. Oh, Pitch Perfect, thanks, Dean. <laughs> so from the movie Pitch Perfect, uh, and we performed that over and over and over again out in the uh, courtyard for everybody. Now, currently, we're working on a few different things. One, we're preparing a piece uh, in honor of the Astros making the World Series called Go Go Astros, which we'll hear in just a moment. We're also working on a piece called Verbum Caro Factum Est for a competition called Madrigal Festival that this program historically won over and over and over again in the uh, late 90s, early 2000s. Uh, it's a very, very old piece, which is what this uh, ensemble really focuses on, very old music and very new music. And we're also working on Christmas carols right now. So <laughs> So it's just a whole bunch happening all at once, uh, and that's what they're good at, and that's why they're here. Yeah, never too early to start practicing the Christmas carols, Absolutely right? Absolutely not. Um, so this is your first year as choir director here at Clear Creek High School. Yes, How's it going so far for you? Oh, it's awesome. Yeah. I mean, the support from administration has been amazing. Yeah. Uh, the students... For the most part. They're pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, we, we really love working with them. And uh, I, I just have to say, being a part of a community like this with this kind of history is, mm -hmm. is something that's really exciting and really cool to be a part of. I, I had the opportunity to, whoop, I had the opportunity <laughs> to come and uh, listen to this choir when I was in high school. Mm. Uh, and so to be able to step in front of them in that auditorium where I heard them sing when I was a kid is, is just really special. Awesome. Well, we've never been live in a classroom in a choir classroom yet. So we're excited to see what you guys have. So go ahead and get started. All right, let's do it. You ready? Yeah. Let's stand up. Fantastic. Put your hands out in front of you. Thumbs up. Hands like this. Thumbs up, down by your side, grab the seams of your pants. Three big shoulder rolls, and one, two, three. Sort of relax your hands a moment. We're gonna breathe in for one. We're gonna hold for, we're gonna hiss for how many? Eight, Eight and then how many? 16. And then how many? 24. Absolutely, we are. You ready? Blow it all out. And two, three, four, five, seven, eight, and two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, breath, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, Three, four, six, two, three, four. Now ask me why I was staring at your shirt. Because you're the only person I've ever seen wearing a Silver Dollar City shirt. Have you been to Silver Dollar City? Oh, you're the one. Nice. I went every year when I was a kid. I have an entire Precious Moments tree. If you don't know what that is, like, like legit. Like that's that's my life. My mother gave me one every time from the time I was a kid. Everyone do this for me. Go. Excellent, excellent. We're going back to D, D. Hand out in front of you, please. Let's imagine that we have a piece of silk hanging over our hand. And so I want it to not be D, D, but D, 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 O, D, O, D, and. D, 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 O, D, O, D, 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 O, D, O, D. Excellent. Can I have tenors and basses, please? Let's work on that vowel. Two and three and go. D, D. D -O -D -O -D. Fantastic. Can we affect the face shape just a touch? D, D. And y'all are going to pick up every one of these. Three and go. D, 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 O, D, O, D. 
Can you hear the difference, sopranos and altos? Excellent. Joining, please. Three and go. Excellent. Hands down. One right at the belly button. We're going to make sure that belly button moves on this vocalese. And. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Let's go G, shall we? G, two, and go. Excellent. It's a little bit too pretty right now. Let's get that reedy sound back in. Everyone say G. G. Yeah, forward resonance, two and three and go. Two, three. Two, three. Two, three. Right about here, we need to add a little bit of lip shape just to make sure that as we get to that B, we're starting to encourage some head voice. Here we are, three and four. Two, three. Two, three. Excellent. Uh, can I have tenors and basses? Shoo! And. Excellent. Let's add sopranos and altos holding the note. Shoo. Really, really tight ooh there. Three and go. Shoo. 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 head voice there, dudes. Two more. Excellent, excellent. Are you ready? We're going to slow it down a little bit. Center of the pitch. Remember, pop each bubble. Pop, 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 and go. Excellent, excellent, excellent. If you had to pick a Christmas carol to sing today, what would you pick? God rest ye. All right, God rest ye. Pull it up. <laughs> nope, wrong song. That's Bear Boom. We'll get there. Bum, bum. <laughs> Where is that music? There it is. Good old fashioned E minor. God, God. Just sing God, please. And God. Say rest. rest. God rest. God rest. Ye merry. Ye merry. Ye merry gentlemen. God rest one and two and here we go. God rest ye merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Fantastic, you're rushing just a touch. Make sure that you really feel it. Can I get a tap, toe tap, please? One and two and a here we go. God rest ye merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day. To save us all from Fantastic. I want to go back and take that again. Save. I heard save, not save. Everyone say save. Save. Yeah, yeah. Really shut that vowel down. Excellent. God rest one and. God rest that was me. That was my fault. One and. God rest ye merry gentlemen. That's nothing you just Don't say. rush. Remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day. To save us all from Satan's power when we were gone astray. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy.
excellent bases. Would you be so kind as to circle, uh, save us all from Satan's power? Circle that line, please. We're going to circle back there later in class. And then I want to hear also uh, the whole bottom system. And bases specifically, I'm pretty sure it's you two. I don't, I couldn't quite hear you on, but I know you two are saying save, save. Make sure that you uh, one vowel alone. Very, very nice. Can we go, go Astro? Take a deep breath. Blow it out. Uh, I would like to change our standing position, if you don't mind. Uh, different from yesterday, tenors front center, bases back center, altos edge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Y'all yes. okay, are both one? Yes. All right, so let's remember our opening on Go Go Astros. Are you going to breathe between Astros and Bum? No. No, you're not. Uh, do you remember your form for the piece? Yes. Yes. Kind of. Yes. Kind of, kind of, kind of. You cut us off, we'll get it. If I cut you yeah. off, you'll get it. All right, I buy that. All right, you ready? Bases, do you need to do it on solfege or are you good to go? Good to go. Strong crescendo. One and two and three and three. Go, go, Astro. Here come the Astros, burning with desire. Here come the Astros, breathing all the time. Tuck it up, tuck it up. Here come the Astros, winning on the bed. Here come the Astros, number one every time. There you go, Altos. Back to the beginning, please. Can I hear just the sopranos on? Can we try just I just a little bit of a lip shape on it, just a touch? I'm getting variation between what E and O sounds like between people, and I'm wondering if we just affect the face shape, it might help. So we're gonna under, under tempo. Just a little bit of a lip, three and. Again, three and go. Back here, three and go. Ooh, be really, really careful with that interval right there towards the end. You two in the front, three and go. Going back up, that's where our issue is. All three and go. Getting better, is that getting better? You like that? Make it so. It was a good start, did you feel good about it? Altos, that was gangbusters. Tenors, very, very cool. Tenors, you can have just a little bit more fun. Just a little bit more fun with it, yeah? Cool, it's not that kind of choir song. We'll get there with the bear boom. That's the right note. All right, tennis, you're up. Bum, 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 bum. And. Way down south in Houston, baseball's called the line. From catching to the upfield, it's flashing large and bright. Stealing round the bases, dropping in runs. No place else for Houston, Astros number one. Beginning and. Bum, 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 bum. Here come the Astros, turning to the side. Here come the Astros, with an orange flag. Here come the Astros, winning on their mind. Here come the Astros, number one every Watch time. Watch me. Go, go, Astros. Go, go, Excellent work, excellent work. Altos, can I check something? You know, you know where I want to go? Can you, can you guess? Can I have just the altos, please? Bar 21. Dugga da 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 da
Can you just do it for me? Don't even worry about the pitches. Just give me rhythm. Two and a three and a go. Yeah, yeah, it's right there that you really don't want to do that last one. You want it to be the same thing again, and it is tray not. All three different opinions, and then one just leads to the other opinion. Five and six and seven and eight. Yeah, yeah, and this has to be memorized by like tomorrow. So like, let's just like make sure that we know it. Cool. You want to put some pitches to that? Would that be useful? Fantastic. Why don't I give you some pitches then? Now, if I memorized it, you can memorize it because, uh, you know, I have no hair in a mold. So, right, five and six and seven and eight. Yeah, hey, right there. The trick is, is that if you're moving your jaw when you do that, which is what you're doing, uh, and you don't just use your tongue, it won't work. You can't dug a dot dot dug a dug a that won't work. Everyone say dig a dig a dig a dig a dig a dig a dig. Can anyone tell me what other VPA department uses this same sound when they are articulating fast moving pitches? Band. It is band. band. Absolutely. So we are going. You're doing so good up there. Look at great work. So that's what it is. You just can't move any of this. Speaking two and a three and a go. Now, if I slow it down for you, don't speed it up. Okay, two and a three and a go. Now ah, that was that was sloppy. Two and a three and a go. All right, pitches. Two and a three and a go. Nope, got to be a right starting pitch. Two and a three and a go. Back row, six and seven and eight. That's pretty stellar. That's pretty stellar. Front row, you ready? Two and a three and a go. Together, five and six and a seven and eight. Whoop! Got to start on that same D natural. Two and a three and a go. You know what I just thought of in that moment? How embarrassing would it have been if I had like tried to be cool and was walking away? I was like, careful with that D natural. It was actually like a B. Yeah, that would have that would have really really stunk. Okay, do you understand the form? You feel good about that? Fantastic. Can you start it again for me before we go to Verboom Cottle? Do you still have your starting note? Don't sing it. Just think it. You got it. Adriana, can you count us in, please? Uh, sure. With aggression, as though we are going to win the World Series. Let's do that again. One, two, three, four. Go, go, Astros. Oh, oh, let's slow that down just a little bit. Wait, you, you started out great, and then the Sopranos were like, I am ready. <laughs> You're like, let's find a gear. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chill a little bit. Remember our step touch from yesterday? All right, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. But you can't. That would have been like, dun, 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 as opposed to like a sensible walking down the street. If you can't two-step to it, it's too fast. This is like, if, if you're up there trying to two-step and it looks like this, which we've all seen that person on a dance floor. If you've ever been to a country place, uh, you've seen people do that. Uh, they're off the beat and it looks terrible. Yeah, you got to be able to fit into the groove. Ready? Count us in. One, two, three, four. Go, go, Astro. Do you like that tempo? Do you like that tempo? I don't. A little slower. One, two, three, four. Go, go. Don't rush to three. Even more altos. Here come the Astros. There you are. Here come the Astros, number one every time. Hmm? Fantastic. I want to hear one more thing, please. Can I hear soprano twos and soprano ones? Bar five. Bar five. Ready? Five and six and seven and eight and one.
I really like it. The dug it out on the Soprano one, it's getting a little too strident on the top. Can you cover just a touch? It's a little bit warmer. Can I adjust the Soprano twos? One and two and three and four and one. Yep, let's start on that right pitch. One and two and three and four and. Fantastic. Thanks, Ben. Hop for me. Yeah, ready? Five and six and seven and eight and. Together with the Soprano ones, two and three and go and. Got that pitch now? Yeah, you got that pitch now. Ready? Five and six and seven and eight and. Mm, five and six and seven and eight and. I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that sound is much, much better as you go out there to feel like something you can tune to. Excellent. One more time. Start it for me again. Drop me like three clicks. It's just a little hot. Got your starting note? Fight the bell. Alto. You're all wizards. Fantastic. Verbum caro. Can you get into your positions, please? Choir one, choir two. Ready, set, go. So a little bit of stuff for, as they get into position. The uh, verbum caro factum s is an example of Germanic, uh, Germanic writing by a person who went to Italy and studied. So you're going to hear very early German music and very early Italian music all in one. It's also a double choir piece. You will notice that this is not very many singers in this room right now. Um, we, it is divided, however, into two choirs that constantly change. Sometimes the altos are with choir one, sometimes the altos are with choir two, sometimes the altos sing with everybody. Um, there's also some cross voicing and ultimately while we're learning it on solfege right now in order to get the pitches and rhythms correct, the piece will be a, in uh, Latin and it is a Christmas tune called Verbum Caro Factum Est. Alright, take a deep breath, blow it out. We're going to sing for a second and then I want to uh, sit down and work through those, those new four bars. So we're going to go from the beginning, shall we? <laughs> Can you sing your starting note, please? And <sighs> excellent. Can we make sure that all of our vowels are very, very close? Oh, if it's on an O. Oh. And again. <sighs> Alto. Let's tune it up, altos. Excellent. I would like to teach an articulation, if you don't mind. Soprano 1s, bar 22. Soprano bar 22, follow that line along, go to bar 24, where you have no, where you see the word no, that beat 2, I want you to crescendo to the next beat. Your next note, that C natural, is staccato. No, oh, oh. Okay. Anytime anyone sees this, a good example would be tenor one, bar 28. You have the exact same articulation there. 
This is extremely indicative of the time period and the style that would be necessary for here. So Soprano ones, you're going to teach us this. Uh, and then Soprano ones, we're going to continue all the way to the end of bar 25 once you have that articulation down because I want to tune up that C sharp. We're just a little bit flat there. So our starting note is here. Cool. You know where I'm at? Three and four and one. Ooh. 22. Are you ready? What's your first note? What is, what is the syllable? T, T. T. Can you sing it for me? You know where I'm at? Three and four and one. So, do that for me and again and go. Yeah. And uh, go. Sing it for me and uh, go. Now can you add the crescendo? Ready and. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Tenor ones, could I hear that exact same phrase? That exact same phrase, I'm coming back to you in a moment, and I'm after that C sharp at the end of the phrase. Uh, tenor ones, could we start please on you? Norm out. One, two, three. And yeah, just like that. Excellent. Can I have everybody starting at 22? Soprano ones, I'm going to give you an opportunity to fix the C sharp without uh, us having to like make you do it alone. Did she fix it? Huh? Did you fix it? I don't know. Well, we'll find out. Okay, that wraps up our time here at Creek Creek, Ice, at Creek, Creek High School's uh, choir classroom. We'll see you next time.